only thing that I'll tell you. Your journey to Indiago is a fruitful one. Thank you, great one. There is a question I would like to ask you, and I want you to give me a specific answer. Why did you leave all the diviners in Umu Akadiani and come all the way to Indiago for a main inquiry? It was an instruction by my late father to visit different diviners upon the emergence of a new moon. Your father was a great man of Umakadiani Kingdom. And from what I can see here, he is very happy with you for trading on the path that he has chosen for you. I have no choice. Men that are men obey their fathers and adhere to every instruction. I learned that when I was a child. And growing up with it, I came to understand that obedience to one's father has a lot to contribute to a man's success. The gods of your fathers will continue to bless you. You shall be like tomorrow. For tomorrow has no end. He said that which we eat will come your way. He said that which is determined to eat you will never come near you. He said. Greetings, great love of our land. Greetings. If it's you with that one. Utichem Baraji, I greet you. So I've seen you on our way to hunting. Means we are going to kill big animals today. He say, may your fate lead you as you have proclaimed. We want your blessings. Please, wish us well. May the gods favor you. He said, I swear by the gods to bring whatever I'm going to kill and share them into two equal parts and bring a better part to you. <laughs> As your spirit leads, O teacher, I shall be on my way now. wrong with him? Let me go in! Hey, if, you, if, you, if you break off, eh, I will, I will get it on you. I'm not your body care. I'm with myself in greetings. Mm, my daughter. Mm. I, are you mad? Eh? Huh? Who has you to greet my father? Are you your son? Oh! Okay! <laughs> You should be taking permission for me before you greet my father. Is it so cool? Control whatever spirit that has taken possession of you. Look, if you kill anybody here, 
The people around here will set you ablaze. I will not on the fire. <laughs> Good. And I won't be able to save you. Get it? Give me that. Follow me. Come with me. I said, follow me. You know you have, you have collected my weapon of warfare. He has gone completely mad. He picked up his stick and almost killed me. What did you do to him? I only greeted his father. Then he started asking me who asked me to greet his father. And then he picked up his stick and wanted to kill me. Listen to me. Listen, what you told. I tried my best. I tried my best to save the maiden in question, but it was obvious that she had made up her mind to be with the man. How could you say that? Is it just how? Tell me. What maiden likes to be with a man who beat her all the time? Talk for yourself, my dear. Talk for yourself. Because most maidens love men that beat. I mean, beat them, of course. And I realized she's one of such, so I allowed her to go and be with the man. He can keep beating her if she enjoys it. I'm, I'm finding it very difficult to believe that it is the same Izuchiko that we are talking about here. The one who used to fight for the maidens. I mean, the one who used to stand up and defend the maidens. Everything has changed. He has started attacking maidens. And I pray help comes to him soon before it is too late. That, that, that man, I, I, I don't like him. In fact, I hate him like I hate Bika. Very big damn medicine. I hope he will not disturb my spirit. Is it Chukwu Hmm? That spirit talking through you must leave. How dare you? How dare you talk to me like that? Huh? Oh, you, you think I'm, a, I'm the warrior of this village? Eh? I'm the warrior of the whole world! Mind yourself, oh. Papa, look at this idiot that I wanted to give daughter of the moon to marry. But you see this nonsense, you don't sit down. I will not kill you! Please. My oh, son oh, is oh, totally mad. Madness has taken hold of him. Help me. One minute. Papa. You are just still looking at me. Eh? <laughs> Thank the gods. Hey! <laughs> hey! Hey! What happened to me? This madness was caused by Usisi Kanko. Huh? 
Oh, Sisi Kanku. I was just coming from his house. He has been with him since two weeks. Papa, what happened to me? You are right. It's just that you had a little problem, but it's okay now. OCC Kangu placed the charm of madness on his Ube tree. Huh? That whoever plucks from it would go mad. Hey. Hey. And your son here innocently plucked from it. Hey. That was the beginning of his madness. Hey. This world is indeed an evil place. What is Ube? For you to make my son mad? Mbano, the king must hear this. You would make no trouble with anyone. The gods have eyes. And they can see. Allow them carry out their duties. Moreover, the king will not do anything without the approval of the gods. Mm. Hey. Thank you, Ekunife. I don't know how to thank you enough. But you will certainly hear from me. As your spirit leads you, Nai. Take your son home. Let him have his bath. Give him food. Give him water. Papa. <laughs> Papa, what really happened to me? Is it you my son? It's a long story that I will tell you soon. Let's go. Go. Mm. Thank you, Ekunife. Go. I brought you firewood. Thank you very much. Uh, please, take it to the back of the hut. Okay. Why that strange look? I am seeing a lot of hidden secrets in you. You're welcome. You're always welcome. Ukunife, 
is the native doctor from this land. Did you travel to another land to meet him? If not for one thing, I will disown you as my friend. Adito, what is wrong with you? Must you always do this? I don't like it. What have I done wrong? Tell me. I am only concerned about my friend who is always making a fool of herself. She dare stand here and insult me. Excuse me? You want me to fall out with you before you start minding your business? Where did you keep that firewood I saw you carry? Is it at the house of the healer? Why are you like this? Why are you distracting that young man of the gods? You know what? You're here to provoke me to the extent that we start a fight. I know more than that, so I will not descend that low. Listen to me, Mwadioto. I know what you want. Surely you won't get it from me. So stand here. Stand here some more and I'm sure it won't be long before you meet your Waterloo. I feel pity for you, my friend. I feel pity for you because by the time the healer finally dumps you, you will not have any other young man in this village to fall back on. Continue being a fool. Spirit of a healer. Ah. <laughs> I, was, I was actually coming to see you. There is something to cheer you up. Yeah, I like that. If a Chiwetalu came to my house with an animal he killed, I have prepared it. So as my friend that likes meat a lot, I decided to come invite you for a feast. So most importantly, come with a keg of palm wine so that we can feast. I don't have any palm wine. And it seems that someone is bewitching me. I was trying to come to your hut and ask for your favor. What makes you think someone is bewitching you? Uh, I don't get enough palm wine from the trees again. And even the little I try to get, nobody will come to buy. Look, my friend, at times, challenges come to test our resolve. But tough times don't last. Tough people do. Leave that story. Leave that story, Okunife. Eh? Tell me the secret behind your powers. On oh, some tough time, tough people. Tell me the secret behind your powers. But there are no secrets behind my powers. Why are you lying to a friend, Okunife? There are no secrets. I will do the kind of things you do. Huh? Jose Mena, this power you speak of is in my blood. What blood? What blood? Eh? Eh? You were formerly a hunter. And after your father's death, you suddenly became a powerful healer. Is it not obvious that you acquired some powers from somewhere? Eh? All I say blood, eh? blood, the blood, the blood. Please, open up to me. I am ready to know what you know. That is what friends do for friends. Not coming to me, take me out for a feast. And I say blood in the blood. Make sure sustain the healing process in the family. I... I don't understand. Why must I continue from where you start? Son, you do not need to argue. Soon, I 
The apple is gonna be a spirit responsible for healing. The process. I am comfortable as a hunter. I do not want to be a healer. Just like my father gave it to me. But why are you forcing this on me? Why? Son, it is your right. Nobody must take it away from me. Ancestors calling me. Remember to visit different diviners upon the margins of every new moon. Empire. About the minds of the gods and our ancestors. So, yes, any healer that knows the mind of the gods and ancestors will never fail in anything. He does take That is how it all started. My father transferred this power to me. In fact, it is hereditary. There is no secret behind my powers. Did you want me to believe you? Eh? Listen, I am your best friend. Tell me your secret and let me start making money like you. Jose Mena, there is no secret attached to my powers. And I do not collect money from people when I hear that alone should tell you that it is not all about money. Uh, but you are making a lot of money from this. The same money they give to me is willingly. I do not ask for money. Moreover, healing has a lot of rules. The spirit of healing will leave any healer who is more concerned with the money. Uh, it is possible 
You are telling me the truth, but I don't know why I am finding it difficult to believe you. I am not concerned with your unbelief, Ozemena. This power you talk about was given to me by my father. And my father got it from his own father. And by the gods, I would give it to my son when my time is up. There is no secret attached to my past. If you don't want to believe me, go ahead and believe whatever you like. I, 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 are we not supposed to be having a feast? Come, let me bring the little pie when I have him. Care provider, soul of a lion. Why are men so wicked? What is so bad? That someone will place a charm on a tree just to protect it? He is completely healed. Greetings, Father. Greetings, Father. Greetings, my children. How are you? Very well. We are fine, Father. Um, well, Father, I brought her to show her the beads I bought from Nise. Ah. Yes. She will help me sell them to the women. On the condition that they are affordable. I told you this before. Yes. Yeah, I will consider that. <laughs> Greetings. Where are you running to? Someone is dying. I need to save that life now. Uh, I brought water for you. Thank you. Um, uh, excuse me. Can I prepare food for you? No. Next time. Uh, please. I said next time. I missed him again. Spirit of a healer, it's in the way he works. Strength of a tiger, you can see the way he works. Does it mean you don't like the beads or what? Oh, I love them. <laughs> so why are you not talking about the beads and you're rather looking at me like someone you, you're just seeing for the first time? Does it mean he doesn't know that he ran mad? Should I tell him? What, Yoto? Are you okay? Oh yes, I'm, I'm fine. I was just thinking about the healing power of the gods. It's amazing what the gods can do, you know. Are we talking about the beads or you're deviating to something else? Oh, forgive me. How much are you selling them? All of them. Help us save her. She has been unconscious. you to attend to her. Please help us. She is all that we have. Please. Please. 
Help us save her. She's unconscious, but she's alive. She's alive. <laughs> Daughter is fine now. Thank you. Take her home. Thank you. May the God bless you. Because of Allah. Yes. Thank you. 